Ah. Hello, chat. How are you? Welcome. Hi. Project 46, good to see you. Welcome back, Mallory. Good to see Harry in the chat, too. Welcome back to you lovely, lovely members. Thanks for smashing join and being a part of our community. So, uh, Jonathan uh, Rebar is now a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yesterday was my birthday. I appreciate any any good wish that comes in the whole week. Don't worry. I don't think there's such thing as a belated birthday anymore. It's all on when you see somebody around that time frame. It's all good. Thanks for all the kindness. Hey, welcome aboard, everybody. Good to see uh, you all here for Lost Paradise. I uh, did a first look this morning on this game. It is damn good. It is really atmospheric. It is really um, interesting. And I think it's going to be a, a very, very good game. Thanks again, everybody, for all the likes. Welcome to all the new subs. We'll get started here in a moment. There's just a little mini update popping off, and then we'll jump right in. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably appear on the screen for a little bit, but then disappear because this is uh, uh, a pretty um, immersive game, let's say. Alternative World War II. Uh, the war started in the same time, but uh, eventually... Uh, things went a little differently, and Germany focused more on super weapons and advanced technology than they did anything else. And uh, if you want to see a, um, if you want to see a little bit more uh, detail about the game, make sure you check the first video that went live on the channel. I put some extra trailers and stuff in there to try to make things make a little bit more sense. Uh, Nazi Bioshock, yeah. There's uh, definitely a lot of Bioshock in here. It definitely feels like Castle Wolfenstein, too. So if you like Castle Wolfenstein, if you like Bioshock, uh, if you like creepy bunker story things and alternative history, and if you like history, too, you'll notice right away, hey, wait a minute, some of this stuff doesn't seem right, which uh, is <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, the Paradise Lost in the YouTube description is way off. Oh, yeah, yeah. I uh, put in uh, some other game that was, like, from... A million years ago they didn't have the actual real game in there i don't know every once in a while youtube misses the mark when it comes to uh, the actual game i don't know why let me see here if they have the real game in here paradise lost um ah oh, there it is there's the right one cool it's there now now that the game's released cool all right y'all ready okay let's go cool let's let's begin Wow, would you look at that? If one more person joins, we'll have reached our uh, member goal for, well, for yesterday, but I think it lost count, actually. I think so many people were joining that we actually hit it. <laughs> Raptoria for the win. Yes, indeed. Uh, those pneumatic tubes, those look like the types of tubes that... Um, you know, that you put into a, a tube at the bank and then it gets sucked up at the drive through or whatever. I'll disappear from the screen in a moment or two, but... Uh, so we're going to be starting a whole new game from what we played earlier. I'm not too far into it, but uh, it's, it's good stuff. Where'd my hair go? I'm just... It's actually kind of chilly here. The, it's raining out. It's quite peaceful. So, uh... I, I, I really like when it rains. When it rains, it's nice. When it rains for a couple days is when I get all cozy and stuff, so... Um, Braveheart. You can take... <laughs> they'll take our, our land, but they can never take our membership. Thanks again, dude. Well, there you go. You're 150th new member since, like, the day... Like, yesterday. In the last 24 hours, 150 people have tapped join. Uh, for those of you wondering uh, where some more giveaways are, they'll be coming uh, later today, too, on the Discord. So, just be patient. I gotta grab some more. I was pretty busy last night for my birthday, so... New member, welcome! Yay! All right. When chat gets to 187 likes, we'll begin the stream. I, ref I refuse. I refuse to play games without 187 likes. I'm holding it hostage. Oh, thank you very much, Yellow Combat Gaming. Yep, yesterday was my birthday. Why are we starting over? Oh, we weren't too far into it, and it wouldn't make sense if I just jumped in for the people who are joining now. So, don't worry. We're going to just do a fresh start, and uh, there you go. 
All right. I think chat's ready to go, right? Good. All right, let me just make sure this works. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Paradise Lost. We'll begin our quote-unquote first look at this game. I've only taken a look really at the first maybe less than an hour, so it'll all be new to me aside from that. Y'all ready? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Damn, this new version of Windows looks weird. Perform security scan. Security scan in progress. Scanning location level one. Unauthorized individual detected. Identifying. Biometric data unavailable. Identification failed. Proceeding to emergency lockdown. Enable audio monitoring. Channel 6-3. Yeah, this looks fine, doesn't it? Totally OSHA compliant. Oh boy. I'm scared of the dark too. This is how we fight it. See? <laughs> and now mommy's going to make it all warm and cozy and you tidy up your toy subject. It'll be warm in no time. Nobody likes when it's cold, right? Maybe when you're big and strong the winter will go away. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. Did I tell you how brave you are? Well, even if I did, I don't say it enough. 
You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. Pamienta yo te. Okay. Yeah, that explains where the lighter came from. May 19th, 1960. I'm afraid morale is continuing to decline. Some of my men are getting restless. I suspect some of them have realized that Uber Lieutenant knows as little as they do. I understand that our mission is top secret, but we are possibly the best equipped German a unit in the entire German army, and our purpose remains, still remains a mystery to us. We are sat on a veritable mountain of rifles, mortars, grenades, missiles, Geiger counters, and state-of-the-art machinery that has never been tested. We even have a cutting-edge communication system, yet no sign of incoming transmissions. When are we going to take the fight to the enemy? Yeah, this is uh, alternative World War II. So the current year in this game is 1980, and the war is still going on. Surveillance report. Date, April 16, 1960. Location, Gesellschaft in Krakow. Coordinates 50-1308-0-1947-437 East. Reporting officer, Obergrenadier Jörg Kessler. I was dispatched to level 00 at 942 to patrol hatch 061B in the northernmost entrance to the shelter. Upon arrival at the shelter door, I observed, as usual, nothing had changed. The door was sealed, and I again encountered zero trespassers. That concludes my daily report, which, of course, no one ever bothers to read. Wow, there's a lot of stuff around here. Oh, I think we found what we're looking for. Should have a spare one somewhere. Mom, who's this? It's no one. Do you understand? It's no one. Oh, 
Ah, oh, looks like some sort of a control room here. Ah, that must be what we're looking for. Uh oh. Inefficiency detected. There we go. I think that's like a security camera thing, but it's broken. Wow, would you look at that. Calls the elevator. <sighs> no one was getting paid, so they all quit. Yeah, they all went on their union union break. That door there must lead to the outside. So they would bring in trains from the outside and then bring them into the bunker. That's a big ass door. Ah, so we gotta get to level four of the bunker. Big Metro vibes? Oh yeah, I suppose you're right. Absolutely. I didn't miss anything, did I? Ah. Newspaper article dated 1960. In Krakow.
Jeez, we need to find a gun. To all colonists, you're advised that only one suitcase per person will be allowed in Gazelle Shaft. All additional belongings will be disposed of upon arrival. This rule is uh, will be enforced by the SS Race and Settlement Main Office, Russia. There will be no exceptions. Hmm. Oh, is this Michael Jackson? Tee hee. Wow, this train looks really cool. I'm leaving, do you hear me? And you're not going to stop me. Yeah, mom. You can't tell me I not to play to Fortnite. My whole life here. That's the last time you changed the Wi-Fi password, Mom. Mama? Mama, are you okay? Mama, sure? Oh, this is just the intro to the game, so they're setting up the atmosphere. It's kind of like at the beginning of Bioshock, where not much happens for a little bit. You're just kind of going through the world. They're just setting up the story for us. Uh, Mr. Bachhuber, I'm writing to you because I have a favor to ask. I understand that there is no longer my place to intervene since all my worldly assets are now legally yours, but I hope you will grant me this final favor in case, uh, in any case. I'm sure that the first thing you are planning to do is cut down that beech tree stood in the yard. However, a family of blackbirds has built a nest there. Please make sure to relocate the nest before cutting down the tree. P.S. Next time I should remember to buy a train ticket from someone who somewhat resembles me. We look nothing alike, not to mention your password photograph. Alas, uh, you were the only person I know of in all of Bavaria who was granted this ticket. Ooh, what is this? I think that's that new flavor of G Fuel. Whoa, damn. Uh, do things like this letter ever cause reading in front of the class anxiety? Uh, yeah, a lot of the times, like, insults will come in if I miss a word or something, so it adds a little bit of... and a little extra pressure, so I sometimes trip up even more. So, like, with you guys, it's cool, but there's a lot of, you know, in-off-the-streets people who will just be mad that you missed a word or said something different. It's cool. I'm used to it now. Oh, this must be the control room for the train. Dear Leopold, many times I prayed, please God make me ignorant, make me blind to what is clearly in front of me. I am just a simple machinist doing what is asked of him, but in my heart I always knew the day would come when I had to pay for all these years of looking the other way. What pains me even more is now that the day has finally come, and you are the one who must suffer the consequences, not me. Today I lose a friend, and I can't help but wonder if, I, if it had to be this way. Maybe if I found the courage to question my orders, I, I'd known this would be our final journey together. I salute you, my old friend. I'm truly sorry that it had to end like this. That's the name of the train. Hi, Leopold.
Nope, that one doesn't work. Alright, boys. Here comes the intro to the game. It's going to be impressive. Wait. We should go this way. And Hesh, hi Raptor, love from India, thank you. Welcome aboard. Yep, we started a new game just to see the first less than an hour again. Alright, let's go. place is bigger than a Walmart parking lot. Damn, that looks epic as hell. Get the camera. Okay. So the Germans built this massive underground facility. I don't know if we're in a crater or underground. It's hard to tell. Or maybe both somehow? Yeah, there's snow, so we could be outside. Uh, don't worry guys, I speak Polish. Uh, click or tap join, become a member today, get access to a ton of different perks. Don't miss out on all the awesome giveaways, including games like Foundation and Factorio and Hydroneer and more. Click or tap join. Oh, cool. Ah, that must be the bunker we lived underneath uh, the ground with Mom. Disguised as a train car, maybe? Uh, 
Ah. It's under our house. Uh, Raptor, that Polish part was a prayer to Mary for protection. Mary Poppins? <sighs> Alright, we made it. We're on level one. And newest adventure. So they're advertising a place where everybody went. So everybody takes a train to this bunker and then they go somewhere. In the bunker. Maybe like through a portal or something? Oh, is this Comcast headquarters? Let me in, you bastards! Idleweiss. Much like a seed, we grow underground in this fertile German soil. We will grow tall and bloom in July just like an Edelweiss does. Uh, one little Edelweiss, my little Edelweiss, beautiful, noble, and white. Yeah, it's like a little bit of uh, Bioshock meets uh, Castle Wolfenstein so far. Oh, this is some sort of scanning machine for tickets or something? Isn't it Idlewise? Oh, I've never seen that word before. Is that how it's pronounced? Idlewise? Uh, letter of invitation. Lisa Smitch. Schmidt? <coughs> We're pleased to announce that thanks to your extraordinary achievements in the field of motherhood, you've been invited to do join Gesellschaft. You, as well as your other recipients of the Honor Cross of German Motherhood, recognized by the Boon Dutcher Model, are scheduled to join Gesellschaft on May 19th, 1960. Please, <coughs> please bring your Auschwitz with you as the letter of invitation is not a valid entry ticket in itself. You're also reminded to review the official packing list provided by the SS Race and Settlement Main Office. Oh, that's the electronic pass that we saw at the uh, thingy there. Oh. We got an item. She had more than 10 kids. Is that why she got the medal? Wow. Congratulations. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's another boy. It's a girl. It's another girl. A boy again. Hello? Oh, look, guys. It's an American Sherman tank manufactured by Mexico in 1949. Well, it looks like that's kind of the only way through. Everything else looks locked. Oh, yeah, there's a gate over there.
Now in the video I put up earlier today, there's a different way into this place, so we're taking an alternative route. So you guys are seeing more than we did in the video, since we have more time. Ah, stamp of approval. <laughs> wow. All that just for a little stamp? <clears throat> Entrance instructions. In order to enter Gishel Shaft, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. 1. Have your Auschwitz ready. 2. Form a line at the window. 3. Give the clerk your Auschwitz for stamping. 4. Take your stamped identification and proceed to the entry point in an orderly fashion. 5. Scan your stamped uh, Auschwitz at the entrance console. Your stamped Auschwitz is your ticket to Gishel Shaft. Oh, there's another ticket if we need it. Okay. Packing list. One suitcase per person. Oswees X. People's handbook. Check. Toothbrush. Check. Couldn't find a bar of soap. Uh, pair of slacks. One with a rope for a belt. White or blue shirt. White one. Jacket none. Undergarments two pairs. Socks two pairs. One personal item. A fountain pen. No bigger than 10 by 10 by 7.5 centimeters. Uh, must be stamped in the greetings chamber located on 01 of the shelter. Uh, not allowed in shell shafts as food products including bread, cake, pastries, chocolate, or confectionery, beeswax, animals, animals, medicine, and other substances. Plants including flowers or seeds. Weapons, concealed blades, knives, daggers, etc. Why not food? There better be a, like a in-flight movie or something. And a meal. Colonist rules and regulations, subject to the amendment by civilian or in case of immediate danger of military authorities, colonists shall 1. Upon induction, undergo any hetero-neglected vaccination, smallpox, cholera, tuberculo tu tuberculosis, typhus, whooping cough, uh, diphtheria, polio, measles, and plague. Uh oh uh, two, work diligently to help those in need. Three, educate themselves in their choice profession relevant to life after the shelter. Four, care for the health, uh, engage in sport, abstain from smoking and drinking, and regularly attend scheduled medical appointments. Five, inform the authorities about every irregular irregularity, case of defeatism, and suspicious or unusual element. Six, report ideas for improving the colony's function to the, com to the commandant. Seven, stay within permitted areas which cover 90% of the colony's surface area. Entering restricted zones without a pass shall be punished by death. Damn. I'll well, put this in your pipe and smoke it, chat. Look at the signs. Velkommen in Eden. Oh, this is what this is what the place looks like. Okay, we have our pass. Yay! I guess we went for the more story-heavy uh, entrance way. There's a different way in here. I saw it before, but that one had a little bit more of the, a little bit more of the story. <clears throat> They'll come in. All arrivals welcome to Gishel Shaft. You are now located in the greetings chamber. Due to higher air pressure, you may experience some discomfort. Do not be alarmed. Your body will soon adjust to the new conditions. 
Staying in shell shaft is a guarantee of safety, innovation, and freedom from any blood crimes. All of you have been carefully chosen by the Office of Radical Policy to continue the thousand-year Reich here, where the degradation of the outside world cannot reach you. Here, where the physically and mentally inferior cannot uh, perpetuate their suffering in their body of their children. And even though you are far below the surface, it is historical record that solitude provides conditions for the greatest of societies. Uh, to Russia officials, I am not pleased. I was taken from the front line in the midst of an assault on the enemy and then hidden underground like a coward. Just because there may be a need for someone in my position to protect high-ranking dignitaries that may or may not arrive at the shelter. I have been preparing that attack for weeks and I was denied the opportunity to ensure its success. I was told soon there will be no longer such a thing as front line and that you should consider this an, off an honor, the audacity. I am requesting reassignment to my previous post without delay. Hail Hitler, over Lieutenant Hugo Dietrich. Are we still in the station? Uh, yes, this seems to be the back of the entry hall now. So now we're into what looks to be another waiting area. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> So some of these letters were listed in 1960 and they were still making references to Hitler so he must have still been alive because right now currently in the game it's 1980 uh Enderloser Liebenstrom Oh wait, I need a drink. You guys want anything? Let's see, Jack Daniels. White Claw? What the? Oh, I'm out. I'm out. <clears throat> yeah, in this, in this game, it's set in 1980. But it looks like everything went down in 1960. So the world's been in an apocalypse for 20 years. There's probably some documents and stuff we missed, but... Let's find out what's down here. What caused the apocalypse? Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, what caused the apocalypse? A rogue squirrel got into the power lines. So now we're on level four. Ah, you guys know what those are, right? You can't see the whole thing, so it's just the tip. Oh, I can't. This is all that German, old German style. I can't read that. I don't even know what these words are anyway. Oh, there's reception. We're on level two. Yeah, I guess this is what caused the apocalypse. People working in the fields.
Yeah, I think that's an old style of German writing and also an older use of the language. Guidelines for oper for Operation Submergence for the Fuhrer's Eyes Only, Berlin, 1949. Here we go, boys. Here's the story you want. <clears throat> Since the Soviet Union remains our enemy, and it's uncertain how long the USA will remain new of remain neutrality, our priority must be A, producing large amounts of atomic weaponry, B, developing a method for deploying said weaponry at long distances. If we are un unable to complete either of these points do not destroy the and do not destroy the Reich's enemies, we must prepare for plan B, that is temporarily disabling the enemy with all available atomic weaponry, providing shelter to the Volk and preparing them for the final battle. Here are the core elements. 1. Work on the Quelder intelligence program as quickly as possible. 2. Build a network of radiation-proof bunkers suitable for 15-plus years of inhabitation. 3. Prepare a tactical nuclear weapon. 4. Prepare plans to evacuate the most valuable members of society. 5. Once the enemy encroaches on Reich soil, evacuate said citizens to the bunkers. 6. Attack the enemy with all available atomic weaponry, temporarily disabling them and safeguarding the area via radiation. 7. Train a society of warriors in the bunkers who will perfect and produce new weaponry. 8. Return to the surface and defeat the enemy once and for all. New phone, who dis? <clears throat> to Oberst Hugo Neubauer, OKW Chief of Infantry Training. Your Colonel. I've just received the proposal training guidelines for the National Guard of the Third Reich program that is meant to prepare the children for enlistment in the Volkswache. Their author is a certain Major Horst Korshik. I certainly doubt that Major Korshik has ever met a child. No one ever who has would have had such items as loading bullets into a rifle to develop coordination to program for a five-year-olds. I firmly request that you reject this program and create a new one. With the assistance of human development psychologists, they'll be able to bring to bear the expert knowledge of the mental and motor capabilities of children at various stages of development, and unlike Major Korshik, uh, we'll have some notion of what constitutes proper pediology. Hell Hitler, Hennel Ruiz, tech, uh, leader of the Methods Division of the National Socialist Teach Teachers Union. That is one ugly child. Do you see that? That kid is... Kid is gross. What the hell is this? Oh, there are cameras watching us everywhere. That's some sort of uh, research and development. <clears throat> that says uh, another day in hell. SS transcription of recorded conversation between uh, Oberdistetler Max Pfeiffer and director of the GG Krakow Commissariat Gunther Ludwig, MP. What the F's name are you cretins playing at? I still don't have any... Sp uh, wait. I, st I still don't have any spelt. If you're under the impression that I'll give... That I'll wait till harvest, let me 
clear that up for you right now, I won't. GL, everyone suddenly lost their minds over that grain. 30 times a day they call me from the Vaterland, from the Bohemian and Moverian protectorates, even from France. All ranting about the, some stupid wheat. Countless generations since the Middle Ages never touched the stuff and didn't seem to mind. MP, I mind. I have orders to ensure delivery that it's completed. GL, grain isn't a widget. I can't churn out more. Do you think I haven't been trying to find some? Write a complaint to the Ministry of Agriculture. The hell? They're gathering wheat for some reason? So much paper to read? Yeah, it's... Well, this is the 60s. It's not like they really had, uh... YouTubers. Those weren't invented until the 90s. In that secret government experiment. And then it all went wrong and they accidentally created Ninja. the hell is that thing? Is that a V2? Looks like it. Oh, nuclear winter killed the crops. I see. It's a big TV, man. No idea what that is. Acceptance speech of Professor Kurt Hartman, winner of the 25th Jubilee of the Third of the Third Reich Prize, delivered at the award ceremony on 1-30-1953. We've successfully created a computing machine whose processing power is at least 50,000 times greater than that of the American's ENAC. Its, con its construction employs newly discovered methods of neural communication in the hippocampus, sustained by faint electrical impulses, the activation of normally unused parts of the brain. Its interface allows it to simultaneously process and store information while using it for process management. We predict an operational period of four years. After that, its processing power will start to decline, potentially threatening system stability. They were using human beings as computers. Connecting into people's brains for like four years, and then they would die. I want to look out the window. This must be a model of the bunker, I think. Or some bunker. Yeah, like a human battery. Yeah, it's kind of kind of the thought of uh, in in the Matrix. Oh, you can see what. Uh, That seems outdated for the war. Oh, that's going to open up. Yeah, is this the gift shop at the museum? Oh, I'll take uh, one... Uh, Raketen... I can't even read that. Raketen Treb... I don't know. Raketen Warfer. Ooh, damn, it looks cool out there. Oh, this must be that medal that guy won. Looks like a very old book. A uh, rocket engine production model, is that what that says? Oh, yeah. 
Is this gonna open? Huh? This is fine. Totally not scared at all. That looks awesome. Are we outside again? I know you're out there. Was it the cameras? Did you see them following you? They are not easy to operate. What do you want? Who says I want anything? I was just watching you out of curiosity. Who are you? I came here to look for things to scavenge, just like you. Oh, that's a lie. I mean, that's why you're here, right? Oh, you can tell me. No. I'm looking for someone. Um, um, I haven't seen anyone else here, but hey. I can help you with that. I mean, some sort of control center, so I've got a pretty good view of things. There are cameras, switches, and whatnot in here. I could help you find whoever it is you're looking for. What do you say? Hmm. And what do you want in return? Just a small favor. Somehow I got myself locked in here. So I just need you to find the control room and get me out. You help me and I help you. That is called a quid pro quo. Control room? You don't happen to be a computer, do you, ma'am? I know what it's called. All right, all right. So, will you help me? Dobrze, I will help you. Tell me how. So... I have this map, and I think I figured it out. We are on level two. Um, should be minus two if you ask me. Anyway, the room you're in is connected to a warehouse that leads to the forge. And that's where the control room should be. And that's where you are? That's right. Just come here and get me out before I completely lose my mind. Oh, as a gesture of goodwill, I even open the door for you. Voila! So, I guess I should get going. Yep. Be careful out there. I... Did you want to say something? Never mind. Don't worry. Sometimes I forget what I wanted to say as well. I'm not going anywhere, so if you see a microphone, you can say hi. Or... whatever. Well, they were also making the rockets down here, too. This isn't just a museum, it's a whole production facility. So they were gonna fire missiles from here. Well, there's probably a silo in the top that shoots the missiles. This place is made of salt. I mean the cave, not the warehouse. I figured I would entertain with some facts about this place. Speakers all over the warehouse, so you will be hearing from me.
Ministry of Armaments and Munitions Directive on the Reclamation of Materials Left Behind After Evacuation. The first supplies available to colonists will be any met metal, wood, or leather that can be salvaged from the trains used in Operation Unterauchen Submergence. They should thus be thoroughly stripped and their materials refurbished and put to immediate use. All colonists are reminded that by the time it is abandoned, the bunker should have produced arms and provisions for at least two divisions to the extent and supplies uh, to the extent supplies and capacities allow. Research and development work must also be undertaken on refining conventional arms and developing new weapons to ensure our victory. Albert Speer, Reich's Minister for uh, Buffering uh, un Munition. I have no idea what this is. That looked weird. to open them. Maybe they didn't know how? Hmm. No, that couldn't be. They were playing D&D? &D? That was a D&D &D character sheet? Wow. Even in this alternative history, d and is a thing. Chat, you are all nerds. You are all so nerdy. It's cool. I still like you. And let's open the door. <laughs> I'd appreciate a little help, ma'am. Humans are mortal. D and D is forever. Chat likes their D and D. I can't get through. I can see that. I have an idea, but I need your help. What should I do? Do you see that crane? I think I can control it from here. But first, we have to release it from that thing. Can you do something about that? I can try. Release it from the thing. That lever, you need to pull it. Oh, over here. Got it. First try. Okay, now what? Wow. Indiana Jones. Oh, wow, they were making a lot of these things. What are you planning to do with that rocket? Be quiet and focus. 
Watch out! It might blow up! It won't blow up! Don't! Are you alright? You could have warned me what you were planning to do. I was afraid you might say no. So you risk my life? Hey, I got you out of there, didn't I? Anyway, I don't see any cameras in there. So I'll meet you on the other side. Girl, you crazy. She crazy. And yet, even though it's smashed into a door, it's still in relatively good condition. They don't make things like they used to. Sorry. More train cars again. Dude, they built an entire rocket factory underground. Which they actually did in real life, too. I thought there'd be a way to get on the train from here. Hmm. Wow, look at all that machinery. Maybe we can just drop down now? I think I could choose other but oh there we go oh I didn't know you could do that you gotta move the mouse up to do it I was like trying W in the arrow keys now we know Well, clearly this was a Pope train. You know, it's holy. There was a fight here. What the hell were they shooting at? They were shooting at something down one of these tunnels. Oh, they were exchanging fire with somebody. The Polish resistance, more than likely. No blood, though. Must have been down there. And they tried to shut the door, too.
Metal Gear Solid 3 vibes. What a thrill. So this kid's mom was like a leader of an attack on this place via the Polish resistance. So that explains the uh, the uh, Lord's Prayer in Polish in the train car. So th that must have been full of the Polish resistance. They must have gotten in via the train and then started opening up on the Germans with their own weapons. Pretty easy to bring German weaponry into a German facility, maybe. So the girl we're talking to could be a computer? But actually a person though, because it's somebody's brain? Maybe? here. It's a really bad neighborhood. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. No. I can't do it. Fuck. No one ever shot me before. A few ounces of lead. A few thousand feet per second. I won't even notice. I won't even notice. Shoots. The Lord carries the bullet. Let it be. It is nineteen sixty when this battle took place, and yet MG forty two still being used. Oh, I fired one of those Hello? before. I'm here. This is the right room, isn't it? Oh, God. What are we looking for? Ooh. Interesting. And this game's a scam to get us to read. Oh, don't worry, I'm doing all the reading. What are these maps of? Oh, Poland.
okay? Where are you? What do you mean? I'm still here waiting for you. I'm in the room you told me to go to. What? That's impossible. You must be in a different room then. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't mean to send you on a wild goose chase. That's okay. We all make mistakes. You are kind. I really thought it was here. <laughs> it really means a lot that you trusted me. I'm sorry I disappointed you. The truth is, I don't know what's happening to me. I've been locked in here for I don't know how long, and I'm getting really scared. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you are my only hope. Hope isn't going to help me find a way. You're right. What are you doing? Just give me a second. Yes, I got it. It says here, you're in a control room, right? So you're probably talking through an EVE console. I guess. That machine has control over the entire area. We should be able to get access to the maps, doors, shafts, everything. But this yeah. screen says it needs a memory tube. Huh. I wonder what that's for. See if you can find one lying around. I'm looking it up right now. It says here that the memory tubes have something to do with the oversight system for the whole bunker. They recorded events back when the system was still working. Oh, it's like a dialogue thing or something. Oh, look, it's a YouTube. Restoring last failure report. 1960. Recording the last minutes. Performing security scan. Unauthorized personnel detected. Scanning Polish underground. Unauthorized firearms. Threat level critical. Policy set to military. Infiltrator disarmament crucial. Civilian evacuation recommended. Uh, troop deployment to the area 138 seconds. Civilian survival. 96% casualty. Military loss is 65%. Wait, what? Let's do it. Oh my god, what? So this computer is like scanning all of Poland for like resistance. What the hell? It's basically German Skynet to try to stop the Polish resistance. Exactly what we need. Keep it up. I'm not doing anything. It's a machine. What is it doing? 
was pretty horrific. Yeah. It's like the bunker was trying to defend itself. By any means necessary. I guess that's all war really is in the end. People killing each other in desperation. Did it end? Did what end? The war. Did the war end? I think so. I don't really know. Yeah, no one tells me anything either. So, what was it like where you came from? The world is really peaceful. That's good to hear. I hope it stays that way. So, what do we do now? Now, I have access to the control system in this area. And I can let you out of this room. I'll study the map and try to find the central control room. Go straight through the forge. There should be a passage down there. Ooh. Alright, so I think she was the computer, but something happened where she got turned on and off again and then became herself, but she's trapped in the... like the bunker, but she thinks she's a person now. It looks like they tried to use the computer against it to try to find a way to defend that train car against the Germans who were, like, trying to attack this position, maybe? They used the computer to find out, like, X number of people versus X number of people how to win. Maybe? We can only speculate. Soma? Oh yeah, maybe a little bit like Soma. Welcome again to all the new members, and thanks again guys for all the birthday wishes this week too. Appreciate all the support. All the super chats and memberships and stuff has been so nice. This is where all the trains were supposed to go. Oh wow. Like a huge smelter exploded and there's molten... Metal everywhere. That's crazy. No way to keep going. According to my map, there should be a pipe there. It leads directly to the living area. Can't you see it? So? You expect me to jump? Listen, I wouldn't have led you here if I didn't think you could do it. Is that really the only way down? I'm afraid so. From this part of the bunker, at least. You trusted me once. I just need you to trust me again. That pipe is part of the cooling system for this forge. There's a small reservoir at the end that should soften your landing. At least there should be. Should be? You mean you aren't sure? It's been so long since anything on you was working, it's anyone's guess if it's still there. But I'm willing to bet that it is. Try to remember the world outside. Remember how you described it? Peaceful. This place? This is just temporary. You can do it. What will happen if I don't jump? Have you ever felt helpless? 
Like you have no control over the things going on around you. Like you have to just accept whatever happens next, no matter how painful it is. Things don't have to be like that this time. You're in control now. So, to answer your question, if you don't jump, there's a chance you'll end up asking yourself what if. And that's an awful feeling. Okay, I will do it. I will jump. Everything's going to be alright, trust me. Okay. You can swim, right? What? We're gonna jump down that pipe? You gotta be kidding me. What the hell kind of water was that? It's all like lime and salt and stuff. Stalactites and stalagmites forming inside the pipe? Cool. Ah, level three, boys. Now we're in the living quarters. Almost there. What? That explains the pains. What is this place? The Germans were living in a big ass cave? Showers before and after you go to the beach.
You're finally catching me live? Welcome. Good to see everybody here. Hope you're enjoying so far. I'm enjoying. Is anyone here? Wait, the document style has changed now. Oh, the symbol's up instead of down. Order number 210. Effective immediately, all the cameras in the compound are to be disabled until the debugging of each room takes place. All communication that pertains to matters of production, strategy, food distribution, future plans, etc. is to be conducted through written messages for the time being. Assume that your conversations are being monitor, monitored, he's listening. Oh my god, Winston Churchill was here. It always amazes me how short your memories are. I walk these corridors day after day and hear the growing whispers. What if he's right? Maybe he has a point. What if, what if? Let me remind those who have forgotten. When the Battle of the Bunker ended, we went looking for German civilian survivors. None were found alive. Must I remind you why? Because the Bunker's machinery had removed them from the battlefield so they wouldn't interfere with the counter-attack. Only to suffocate them in one of the unventilated hangars. Is this the kind of effectiveness we are looking for? Is that the value we put on human life? I will say it once more. No! I will never allow these machines to be turned on again. Wow. A document. Order number 108. All Nazi documents are to be left untouched. Despic uh, despicable as they are, we will not burn them. The Nazis already burn all evidence of their atrocities on their own. We do not need to aid them. When the war finally ends, and it, and it will end, the, these documents will be used to expose them and hold them to account. All documents are to be stored in the file room. Okay, so the Polish resistance got into here and they were gathering up all this stuff for evidence against them. Evidence of what? They started the war. Not like they needed any more enemies. But I guess that's without a shadow of a doubt. Hello, can you hear me? Ugh, it's not working. I need to find a control room. Hmm. Oh, they were doing their debugging in here. Is anyone up there? Uh, please don't leave. I knew the others were considering leaving. I just never realized you were one of them. If you go, uh, Dominica uh, won't let us see each other ever again. You know that she doesn't allow any of the his followers to interact with us. Is his superstitious gibberish more important to you than me? Hold on a second. 
Oh, thank you, Harry. Just like a hotel or something? Camera's offline, yep, getting some Bioshock vibes already. I think they threw nukes all around Germany to protect the border and irradiate it so no one could get inside, but as a result, everything is um, nuclear winter now. That church, it looks familiar. I think I passed on my way here. Check everything. Really, a guitar? That doesn't seem, uh, now then again, this is where the I think where the Polish took res refuge. Oh, you can approve messages like that, Harry. That's fine. Is this a horror game? Well, it's about the Nazis, so I can't really think of a bigger horror than that. Transcription of Risegard Lazy's account. I went out mushroom picking, not that I thought I'd find any mind, but uh, because I like wandering amongst among the trees, so I stumbled upon a gnarled beach, I looked up, and over by a clump of thistle I saw a white she-goat. A miracle, I thought, because there hasn't been a living creature to be found here since we ate the, <laughs> the last ten, ten years back. And lo and behold, a goat. Where could it have come from? Right away I thought uh, Velas must have favored us to send a blessing like that. I walked up to it. I didn't ru uh, didn't run. It let me rope it and walked back to the settlement by my side like a dog on a leash. I went straight to the high priest to share the run wonderful news, but I hope it'd give us milk with healing properties. What? Weird. Well, thank you, Robert. Very kind. And uh, thanks again to everybody for all the birthday wishes and such this week. And uh, it's been awesome. So I've been having a great week so far. So thanks to everybody for your uh, kindness and whatnot. Appreciate it. Hold on just a second. 
Get rid of that. There we go. Order request. I'm writing you again to request per permission to use the Nazi technology. People are starving. We can't continue to live in the dark like this. How many more women ha uh, have to suffer miscarriages before you see things clearly? I'll write to you every single day until you realize what there's no other way. Lucian. Oh, looks like Mega Casualty just got uh, a casualty. Start your day with kindness and try to be nicer to people. Maybe you'll get a little further than the basement. What was that? Ah, a hidden door. But where? Ah. Okay, before we leave, let's see if we got everything. Order number eight. Any German occupier still hiding in the shelter is to be sought, put on trial, and sentenced for their crimes. That includes civilian workers and, of course, military personnel. This goes for Polish collaborators as well. Dominica uh, Wasix. Polish names. Hmm. It must be a key to the locked doors. All right, we got a key, boys. Will it open these doors? Aha. Uh -huh. Yo, Tan, thanks for the five. Appreciate that. here in a minute. Uh, Dominica, fine. I will leave. Anyone who wants to join me is welcome to do so. But to those who choose to stay, I ask, where do you draw the line? You're happy to reap the rewards, but unwilling to pay the proper respects. Oh, these must be millennials. Uh, you ignore the divine powers that gave you these luxuries. If you decide to bow your heads to the gods that made this all possible, come with me, Lucian. Uh, you bought an expensive breakfast to celebrate your birthday alone, so I'm just watching your stream while eating. You're not alone. You're with all of us. We've got a very lovely community, very supportive. Everybody here is very nice, awesome, kind, understanding, and patient at all times. Isn't that right, chat? Dark Mayu, thanks for the happy birthday wishes as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you. All right, let's see what's on TV. Does this have PS5?
Oh. I wonder if that's a report on the girl who's in the... F who's talking to us? Okay, let's see if bidirectional communication is working. Uh, clearly not. We'll have to find a workaround. What if... I know it's not ideal, but... Given the circumstances, this will have to do for now. I'd like you to press the button, if you can hear me. Uh, what? Uh, yes, Leas, zero two. Thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome. I know the interface can be a little intimidating at first. I'm here when you're ready. But I can't press the button. It won't let me push it. What? Overview disabled? Uh, what's going on? It won't let me back away from the computer. Yeah, it wants me to hit enable on the screen, but it left click won't work. No, enter. Uh Interaction button enabled. Is there an interaction button? Uh, I don't know what, okay, well, clearly the game's not frozen. Let's try that, we'll just speed run it and go straight to the room. It probably saved right when we got the key anyway. Oh yeah, there we go. It must be a Mac. Yeah, I think Host Zero is the girl. I think she might be dying or something. She's at like 31%. Jurian, welcome aboard. Let's not waste any more time. 
You always said you wanted your own garden someday. What do you feel like planting? not to overwater the crops. What's happening? I must have initiated the automated calibration cycle. It's overloading the system. Remember, we prepared for this. We need to disable some of these processes before... You have to authorize its change. I can only request them for you. Now, disable them as quickly as possible. That's it. Now for the next one. You're oh, they had a day-night cycle down here? Ah, it's no use. That's it. We're turning it off. So Is that you? Looks like... Say something. He turned it on. Turned what on? What are you talking about? That machine, he turned it on. I don't think he's supposed to do that. Who cares? I haven't heard from you since that jump. Do you know how worried I was? Are you alright? Well? I'm fine. Then why didn't you say so? Where are you? I haven't seen our no monitors. It looks like the poles settled down here after the attack. So you found the living quarters. Good. According to my map, they are on level 3. I'll try to find you with the cameras. I don't want to lose sight of you anymore. Do you understand? We need to stay focused, okay? Please tell me you understand. Okay. So it looks like the Poles were trying to get the computer back online to start growing crops down here. It looks like two hosts are supposed to run the computer. One was either dead or missing and the other one was overloaded by the calculations. And almost died. Weird. Uh, P. Dytel and MD, thanks for becoming Raptor Eggs. Appreciate the support. Welcome aboard. Enjoy your new emotes, by the way. Uh, let's see if we can get a... Uh, I guess the Poles were hungry. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and help out with the food supply, I think they would really appreciate that. Wendy's, Taco Bell, Top Ramen, Hot Pockets, Pizza Rolls. Alright, let's see if there's anything else in the room before we leave. else in here? Oh. That symbol might be an electronic component. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. There's a ton of bunk beds everywhere. Are 
Are we okay to leave now? Uh, Zyros, thanks for uh, becoming a raptor egg. My name is Shimon. Nice to meet you, Shimon. I'm sorry if I came across as cold before. After we talked, I realized how selfish it was of me to expect you to make that stupid jump. My first thought was to scream out your name to stop you, but then I realized that I don't even know what it is. So, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. It's okay. Everything is fine. I will find you. And then we will figure this all out. Thank you, Shimon. Alright, looks like that's the way to leave, so let's go back and check the, uh... Isn't that the way we came in? Oh no, it was back there. Okay. with the bookshelf. I think it's that room. Ooh. I guess we can open all these doors. Sweet. So you're used to games where it's like 15,000 doors and you can't ever go in there. Dear Herr Commandant, at the request of Wilhelm Streck, I have agreed to Lee to talk about Agatha Shambhala, Arian's Atlantan's Thule, the control of a parasitic human abilities, and the research on summoning zombie armies. He convinced me that the material will provide the necessary support for the colonists. In my youth, I took a strong interest in these topics, so I shall have plenty of material to speak on. Yet we both know, I hope, that these stories are not worth a hill of beans. I am a scientist and I know the strength of the German nation does not come from fairy tales but from mental fortitude and from science. Thus, when we, the colonists, prepare the, for the ultimate battle, they should draw on the accomplishments of scholars. I propose a return to a method that was tested with the great success in the front, namely substance DIX, a mixture of cocaine, pervitin, a strong stimulant, and ukodol, a strong painkiller, transforms common men into super soldiers. It provides a significant boost to concentration, endurance, strength, courage, and self-confidence. It also disables pain receptors while uh, stifling hunger, thirst, and the need for sleep. And has side effects yet in deciding the moment they are of no import. Wow. To Wilhelm Streck, dear, Will dear Willie, I know you do not need any more of your steamboat. Oh, wait, no, I mean, no, you do not need anyone to tell you how to do your job, but I would like to alert you to a problem. I've received reports, despite constant guidance and instruction, people still do not understand the concept of the colony. Some fear being locked up underground or even uh, that those left on the surface will have it better. If I were to prune away all such doubters, I would lose half the settlers. They would be strength of the colony. So I hit upon an idea. Perhaps we could in some uh, undermining way share with our colonists the history of the Aryans and the Antilinans from whom we descend. After all, if our ancestors could thrive after losing their homeland, we too can emerge from our ordeal, defeat our enemies, and bring about the rebirth of, the, of our great Germany. With your storytelling talent, this tale could surely soften the hearts of doubters and calm frayed nerves. What do you think, your friend Max? Yeah, only Boomer's got that reference. Okay.
What? Sort of identification card. Greta Mueller, born 1920 in Frankfurt. Uh, I think it says she's a surgeon? Or maybe she wanted to be a singer or is a singer? I have no idea. Oh, well, she's a singer. My bad. Well, that's a big clue. like to thank everybody for coming to the big stream. Uh, thank you for smashing the uh, like button. If you have any questions, uh, press a 1 in chat. I'll uh, be sure to answer it. Uh, thank you for subscribing and turning on the notification bell. And that's today's top story. Okay, bye. Really? There's nothing else in here? There's got to be something in here. Other than the Greta Mueller ID card. Huh. Well, that was annoying. Nah, Flannel Dan chat's the best. We got the, got the best chat out there, man. Best community. Well, I think we've seen everything. If there's a closed door, we'll check it, but... Oh, I think this one's locked. Oh, yeah. So I guess they were ripping out all the cables and stuff for the robot upstairs. Okay, I think we've seen everything here. The archive room, I think, is, like, upstairs somewhere. We saw all that stuff. Yeah, this kid sounds like a big dude. This is, like, a 14, 13-year-old or something, but yet he sounds like he's, like, a mech. All the windows have uh, sandbags in them. The poles were ready for a counterattack. Are you there? According to my map, this is the luxurious part of the bunker. But I can't see anything. Most of the cameras have been disabled. I'd love to see how the German elite sleep. I bet it's glamorous. Is this thing even on? Is this like a Twitch IRL streamer? Like, one of their houses? According to the game into info, he's 12? Okay. Music sounds like Alex when he's sad. Play sigh. Hell of a lot of art and stuff.
Wow, the Germans had clothing stores? Oh, man, this is underground Bioshock, dude. Oh man, is this a menu? Oh, it's more text. Damn it, I thought we were going to make an order. Alright. To the settlement's office. I'm looking into at the dietary recommendations for the bio components created by the settlement officer, Miss Sigland Huber. I found this part particularly amusing. Brain development is highly dependent on essential unsaturated fatty acids, EUFA. A natural source of EUFA is fish, seafood, or seaweed, such as algae. Does Miss Sigmund Huber realize that her recommendations are laughable? If not, could you please give her that message? Maybe they're not able to get fish and algae down here? So it's a little cafe connected to a clothing store? That's weird. I wonder if they serve pizza rolls here. Okay, we gotta go back around. I wanna see what's in that other room. Relax, Jonathan. We'll get to everything. There's lots to see, lots to do. We're in no hurry. This is clearly a uh, wine shop. Oh, look, a little train. Oh, there's the train, Ludwig. Cool, someone w had a little uh, love of model trains. This game is like super detailed. Oh, alright, we're gonna check this shops before we leave this place. Wow. Those cash register buttons though, damn. Ah, yes, it's me. Who dis? I'm here. Okay. I think there's a working camera in here. It's so dirty I can barely see a thing. I can try cleaning it. Really? That would be great. Find something to help you clean the camera. Well, that'll work. Everyone can hear this kid's footsteps. He's 12. He sounds like a giant. Right, where's this camera? Weird how many, like, bookshelves and things are at these restaurants. Oh, we need to get it wet somehow. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Jordan.
I'm too tired to have that discussion again. What do you want from them? To pray their problems away? It hasn't helped them so far. Ah, oh, that was horrific. You know what? Forget the camera. I don't need to see any of it. Wait, you, you don't want me to clean the lens anymore? Thank you, Ezreal. I'm sorry it was such a disappointment. It's not your fault. That's just the way things are. Okay. Mm I think we'll go back to the uh, passage before we go up those stairs then. I don't see any other places to go yet. You're saying he's tall for 12? Really? Oh, maybe. Maybe people were just shorter back then. At the start of the game, he's like climbing up ladders or stairs and stuff at the, um, at the uh, train station. Okay, which one was the liquor store? I don't remember. Must have been this one. Uh, weekly report, 18th of March, 1966. Monday, 46 went, 43 came back, negative 3 people. Tuesday, 43 went, 42 came back, negative 1 people. Wednesday, 42 went, 36 came back, negative 6 people. Thursday, 36 went, 24 came back, negative 12 people. Friday, 22 went, 17 came back, negative 5 people. If this continues, then I guess we're done. Looks like they had a spyglass. You can see everything from the window, though. I don't know why they needed that.
Oh, we're in the back of the liquor store now. Oh, this is the door on the other side that was locked. Okay. Order number 262. No devotional or ritualistic objects are permitted in the shelter. You can anonymously surrender any such objects in this room. If you're found with any in your possession, you will be charged with treason. Dominica. So is there any item we can use? Oh, the poles use these chains to pull down the eagle statue. Funny how they left the symbol up, though. Overloaded. I guess we'll take the door. Uh, no, that's. Well, actually, I don't know if they created, like, fake thunder or anything like that. I wonder if they created weather. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, we're getting a call. New phone, who dis? Hey, I was getting lonely, so I figured I'd call you. I hope you don't mind. Oh. Interesting how the names are pretty close together. Did you say your name was Eva? Yes, that's right. So you have the same name as that thing. Could you please not compare me to a lifeless machine? Besides, Eva is spelled E-W-A, not E-V-E. -E. I thought we agreed to trust each other. I do trust you, I'm sorry. I have an idea. Each of us says something about themselves. Something personal. I'll start. I was born in Krakow, but I spent most of my life living in a small village in the mountains. My dad is sort of a pastor. I was always really impressed by how he managed to inspire his people, but I never got to meet my mom. Your turn. Remember something personal. I have a slingshot at home that I really like. That's... a good start. Not too personal, but we'll get there. I should keep going. Right. Thanks for the chat, Shimon. Talk to you later. Yeah, I kind of trust her, but I kind of don't. If she doesn't know if she's a computer, it's like... I don't know. I don't know if she has ill intent or if she just doesn't know what's going on. 
Dear all, when they cheated us during the food distribution, that should have been the last straw. It was naive to think they could still be reasoned with. I don't think anyone has any more doubts. We strike at noon. Remember, these people no longer resemble the people you once knew. He's brainwashed them. Don't pity them. They wouldn't afford you the same kindness. Oh, so there was a split between the Polish group. One that was kind of becoming re ritualistic and... And, like, uh... Having more cultural, and then the ones that were still focused on the mission with Dominica. There's, like, two groups, I guess. So that may explain why the numbers were dwindling. They were going out to, like, fight each day. Yeah, either she's not aware that she's a computer, or she... If she is aware, maybe she's going to do something to us. I don't know. We're going to try to trust her because we need to get through these areas, but kind of not trust her because, you know, evil computer and all that. Was there anything else in this room? Oh, a door. these things now. It's probably going to be about the battle between the two Polish groups. Dinosaurs. So far, it's all been stories of destruction and betrayal. I found the man I'm looking for in one of these recordings. I'd rather you didn't waste our time with another memory, too. You know my opinion, do what you want. I want to play it. I can't stop you, can I? Bro, we gotta know what happened. Yo, Kevin Rowe on with the 50. Hey, Raptor, how goes the stream? Figure I would give it a watch today to brighten up a rainy day here in Baltimore. Also, here's the late birthday gift to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That's some big love, man. Let's get some Lego hearts for our whole community. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for the support. At this rate, we should be able to leave the bunker in a couple of months. That is, if we choose. Huh? Answer it. Lucian, we need to talk. Well, this certainly is a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure, Dominica? I want to negotiate. Now, as I've already told you, the situation is simple. We split the food three ways. You get a third, we get a third, and the rest will be given as an offering to the gods. If it weren't for their guidance, we wouldn't have found the food to begin with. We must pay our respects. Fine. Fine. We'll split the food three ways, but on one condition. You take down those turrets. I'll take them down. Eventually. If you keep your end of the bargain for the next two months, then I'll agree to remove them. Think of it as a grace period. If you want production to continue, then you need to take them down. Now! The thing is, Dominica, I need you less than you might think. 
Come back when you've come to your senses. Wait. Let's not make any hasty decisions. I'm sure we can come to an understanding, Lucian. What's happening? Deactivated. She tricked us. I don't know what you're... You'll find out soon enough. But I can promise this won't end well for you. Find her! Get those turrets back online quickly. Show me the map. They're already on their way. They mustn't get across the bridge, do you understand? Hold them back! Enable traffic control. Close gate 03302. Close gate 03304. It's not working. We have to blow it up. We have to blow up the bridge, do you understand? There is no other way. If we don't, all of this will have been for nothing. The turrets are back online. Authorize the use of lethal force. Make sure no one's on the bridge when it explodes. Fourteen civilians are in the line of fire. Use of lethal force. Oh, chat, this is on you. One or two. What are you waiting for? You still don't understand how any of this works, do you? I didn't want this. I didn't want any of this. You made me do this. I blew him up anyway. Adam uh, Van Duser, thanks for upgrading to a Raptor Hatchling, dude. Oh, I didn't authorize it, he did it. I didn't turn on the turrets, but he still exploded the bomb. And there's the bridge. Oh yeah, we're in a massive underground cave. Yeah, it's weird. Like, aren't these supposed to be recordings? Why are we making decisions if these are recordings? I don't get it. Like, these are memory tubes, so it's supposed to be like, the, you know, recordings of what happened in the past, but... We keep getting to make decisions on them, and I don't know why. Are we the computer? Yeah, there could be different endings, maybe. Thank you. 
Did that turret just spin? Well, these were the auto turrets that were supposed to be deactivated. Well, good thing we had it deactivated, otherwise we probably would have gotten shot at. Oh, it's following me. How nice. They're probably out of ammo. I think maybe it was supposed to be following me and it glitched out. Wow, look at the city. Wow. Body whereabouts are the biggest mystery. That's true. Although, there was a war here about uh, 20 years ago, so... Oh, are we going into some sort of lab? Everybody would be skeletons by now. Transcription of an automatic recording triggered by detection of the keyword GOAT via the intercom system. That GOAT. There was something odd about it. What do you mean, odd? Had horns, a tail, a GOAT, like any other. But did you see what it did? GOAT things? It stood around? Exactly. It stood in the grass and didn't even take a bite. Maybe it wasn't hungry. Uh, Alozi? <laughs> Damn you Polish names. They sound so cool. Have you ever seen a goat that wasn't hungry? That's like a calf with two heads. Don't you remember how in 43, the Schlittix sh go goat ate all our grass in the yard and then ate your belt too and you had to tr uh, truss your trousers up with twine? Don't act like you don't know how goats never stop eating. I'm telling you, something that with that goat ain't right. Well, it's a miracle goat. Maybe miracle goats are more particular about what they eat? You old fool. You'd believe anything. If some pretty young thing lifted her skirt for you, you'd think it was your <laughs> for true love and not the six pounds of dried meat in the larder. Wow. Yeah, the, uh, the, the best goat is in chat. We got the greatest of all time, chat. All right, what is it? What is this? Oh. Eva? Eva? So this is where the food... Oh I, oh, I see. There's the skeletons. Oh, it's like a slaughterhouse.
so one button opens the door and the other one opens and closes the cages okay oh yeah okay so this is like a kind of like a lab maybe maybe they were doing like breeding of the cattle here or something She can't even hear you. I have a goal now. I'm going to find you. That was the goal the whole time. Uh, not sure your chat is even watching the game. Now, if they were watching, they would put uh, lowercase f's in chat. Because they'd all be dead. Uh, stenographic record. Request letter. According to the settlement office, we are to be supplied with 200 tons of spelt. No later than 03-01-1960. No such delivery has been made thus far. This is an urgent matter. I expect a prompt response. Response. Your request has been noted. The delay is due to the unfathomable stupidity of Polish bandits. They wanted to blow up an SS outpost, but their explosive exploded prematurely. Destroying a nearby storage facility that was holding spelt meant for Zutzeldorf. We will supply you with spelt as soon as possible. Oh, that's that's what that grain was talking about at the beginning. They were running out of food, that's why they needed it. leads to the same place. Uh, what is spelt? I don't even know. I, I wouldn't even know how it's spelt. Wait, is this a maze? I guess we made it. Are there like any more letters? Oh, we had to go go down here. Okay. Spelt is gluten-free dough. Interesting, because they were talking about how they can't have gluten for some reason.
They're not able to bring, like, bread and stuff down here for some reason. Something to do with mold, maybe? Oh. Now we're in 2020. There we go, boys. We're here. Level four. This is where the labs are supposed to be. I knew you'd make it. Eva? Yes, I'm here if you need me. She sounds suspiciously happy. Uh, I don't want to go through this large security thing. I don't see a microphone. How are you hearing me? I don't. Attention, Chief Commander of Military Colonies, top secret. If the civilian commandant A demonstrates incompetence and dangers the completion of the Eve project, leads colony into disarray, or uh well, let's see here. Oh, we might have to just throw her on the mom now. Hold on. One second. Yeah, it's too many billies today. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's see. Continued existence danger fails to meet the production quotas for three consecutive months. B. Exhibit signs of incapacity, mental or physical illness, rendering him incapable of performing his duties. He must be eliminated and a replacement chosen. Hail Hitler, Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler. Oh man, now we're in the science office, so now things are going to get really interesting. Hey, I can see the top of your head in one of the cameras. How are you talking through this? What do you mean? It looks like a portable camera. That's so cool. Oh. Able to see everything you see. We saw that design earlier. Can you open the gate for me? That's yeah, what that little clip can, was. But I need its serial number. Try looking for an electrical panel connected to it. Oh, that's cool. Now we know what that's for. The electrical panel should be connected to the door. Wait, what are we looking for? This? I don't know if I want to go down there. Look at how cool that looks, though. Happy late birthday? Well, thank you very much, Andrew. I appreciate that, man. The elevator stuck. I think it's the same one that you took before. Huh? If it hadn't broken down, I might never have found you. Okay, we gotta look at a se serial number. Where now? She knows way too much. Well, I mean, I think she is a computer. Oh, this is what we're looking for. Hold still. I have to type it in. Type it in? Okay, got it. It should be open now. Rick O becoming a oh, raptor egg. Welcome back, Rick. By the way, I heard everything you said on that, in that food processing place. Oh, I just wanted to tell you that I understand. I know what it's like to be left alone. Things stop making sense and when everything's hopeless, I will have to keep going. Especially now, when we are so close. The control room is somewhere on this level. This is incredible. How deep underground are we? I'm not sure.
Come on, now I'm getting Final Fantasy VII vibes. this stuff well I have a lot of time on my hands just sitting here I wonder if this is one of the poles who maybe sacrificed herself to try to get the computer working again in order to save everybody else maybe this is one of the resistance forces oh yeah this is a prison Maybe the Germans were first keeping prisoners down here? Something in there, so we gotta open the doors. Rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. Each uh, matron taking part in the Qualadir Intelligence Program will be granted a one-use punch card for good behavior. A one-use punch card can be exchanged for a visit uh, to the first floor of the complex. Good behavior merits can be gained by abiding by the following rules. 1. Curfew. Matrons may not leave their rooms between 21 and 0630. 2. Hygiene. Matrons are required to maintain good personal hygiene. Cleanliness will be monitored by the superintendent. 3. Medicine intake. Each matron will be prescribed a course of medication by their attending physician. Matrons must follow the medication intake as instructed. Uh, four, nutrition. Matrons are required to eat all of the uh, food that is brought to them by the superintendent. Five, click or tap the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notifications about upcoming videos and live streams. The above mentioned rules are subject to change by the attending physicians not abiding by the instructions by the attending physicians may result uh, may be punishable by demonetization by YouTube oh. punishment worth than death oh zero FPS there we go what does you this mean that the prisoners who are kept here were all fertile women. Why? I don't know. Ooh. Now things are getting interesting. Also, now she's responding to what she's reading on the... When he picks up the letters to read them, she can see that too, so it's cool. They're, they're actually seeing the letters together and conversing about them. That's neat. Dear Professor, as a specialist in the field of dentistry, I'd like to turn your attention to the teeth-related aspects of your program. Research has shown that 90% of Polish women suffer from tooth decay and other dental diseases, negatively affecting their reproductive capability. Dental diseases delay the onset of pregnancy and are significant factors in miscarriages and low birth weight. Oral hygiene must be meticulously maintained during pregnancy. Bile spat up during morning sickness destroys enamel. Women must rinse their mouths with water after each expulsion. I suggest each woman admitted to the program undergoes full dental treatment before being sent to the farm. Once they have been supplied with oral hygiene supplies and supervised in their use. Now Hitler, Hamps Fuhrer, Dr. Wiley, uh, Willy Frank, dental consultant. Sacrifice to be forgotten. 
Here's one. It looks like it's all used up. This one's got pretty Those art. Paintings. What about them? My mom used to draw something like that. It's probably just a coincidence. Suava? That's my mom's name. She was one of the prisoners. Oh, Why wow. Did she never mentioned to me. Well, do you want to talk about this place? Uh, dear Sl Slawa, I am forever grateful for you, what you did for me. He looks exactly now, uh, exactly how I remember him. I was terrified when I realized that I was starting to forget, but now, thanks to you, I won't have to worry anymore. He'll always be with me. I'm writing this to you because I know you don't like to talk about it, but I hope one day you get to experience what it means to be a mother. Those brief moments that we share with our children make all the suffering we go through worthwhile. I am praying to any god that is listening, they will bless you with a child. Yours, Zosia. Damn, mom's got a prison sentence? Our mom was badass. That's a lot of crossword puzzles. Uh, hell? Hell. That's it. Damn, even the crossword puzzles here are depressing. Hmm. Day three. It is my third day here, and I'm st I still marvel How at the. How bad is the world outside that the prison seems like a better option? Uh, everything is cleaned and to the point of sterility. The Germans treat us with a measure of politeness, and the food is fantastic. I have never eaten such frequent, delicious, filling meals. Plus, they see we get enough physical activity and maintain proper hygiene. They even make sure we brush our teeth after every meal. Uh, before I was brought here, they subjugated me to every medical examination imaginable. It would all be like a wonderful vacation, except I still do, do not know why I am here. Nor where I am or why I am here. And I have no one to talk to about it. I share my room with Stefia, Stefa. But as soon as we enter it, she begins crying into her pillow. I tried to speak to the other girls in the cafeteria, but they only point to the walls with an uneasy look in their eyes. Is someone eavesdropping? It seems I will have to survive a while longer without conversation. At least I have you, dear diary. What exactly was in the food? Well, they were probably having like Probably Hot Pockets, I suppose. Those combinations are quite dank. Look, this one hasn't been used at all. We could leave now. The women here were only allowed to go downstairs a couple of times. And this woman never even used her pass. Yeah, dino nuggets. Yeah, they probably got some good nuggies every once in a while and some good dipping sauce. I'm 
glad that's over. Wait, that tree? It looks familiar. Oh yeah, it looks like a like a tree. Wow. Instructions concerning the selection of children in the Queldeer Intelligence Program. Children involved in the program must pass a rigorous selection process. As a first step, children with Aryan traits should be identified. They'll be passed to real German families or, once the program is underway, to the colonists. The remaining children should, by the time they are five uh, old, years old at least, be split into three groups. A. Those with above average intelligence is measured on the disc, the Deutsche Intelligence for Kinder, uh, subject to programming. B. Those with normal intelligence prepared for field labor or factory work. C's. Those in any manner retarded placed in the T4 program. Note, point C does not apply to autistic children. They are difficult to manage but score impressively in testing. Wow. Yeah, it looks like they were using these kids to, uh... Basically, it looks like these mothers were giving birth to someone intelligent children to use as RAM or ROM for the supercomputer that they mentioned. And then, um... The others were used for farm work or working in the factories or restaurants. Uh, to Ober... Uh, to, to Max Pfeiffer. <laughs> Pfeiffer. <laughs> Acting Civilian Commandant of the Gesellschaft Shelter. I wish to inform you that Erlika Haas, one of our educators, has grown louder in expressing her discontent with the conditions at our school. She feels that Cozy Everon's exquisite food, learning through play, frequent physical activity, ample leisure, and uh, time and state-of-the-art medical care she sh should not be wasted on Slavic swine. She complains about her own children, Aryans who can trace their heritage back at least seven generations, live much more modestly and without such extensive pathological aids. Uh, furthermore, their education is frequently interrupted by the need to take shelter from enemy bombing raids. Dr. Haas Fuchs, Director of Upbringing. Kind of a dumb place to have an office with all this wiring and stuff behind you. I could have had a little nicer office.
Ooh, pretty. You grew up in the village in the mountains? I did. And you thought this was it? Shimon, this isn't funny. What is going on here? I don't know. Uh... The other poles... This is where the other poles were living on level four? It is. Oh, at least I think it is. I don't know what to believe anymore. So one group was living in that uh, little hotel on the top, like on level three, and these people live on level four. Cool. Oh, mighty uh, Vilis, old Miss Plansnik uh, begrudged you a uh, sacrifi sacrifice? Sacrifice? I heard her say it. Told her husband he was a fool to give you meat. Uh, why, not, uh, why not? Why not old bread if we got anything to give? Uh, any, got to give something, she said. Anyway, she only gives anything to people who can't, don't call her cheap. So please... Mighty Velas, punish her like she deserves. Oh wait, this is all like... Oh, I see. The, the writing is from somebody who's like uneducated. And rewarded me your faithful servant, always looking after you with health. <laughs> like the meme. Good fortune. That ring with the red gem, Miss Plasnik got it off the German woman and surely does not des des deserve. Oh yeah, everything's spelled differently, okay. So this might be somebody who was, like, born down here after they invaded? After the uh, Polish resistance attacked this place and then had children? And what's here? This is where we used to gather. My father performed rituals at that altar. Wow, is this the Last Supper, or...? Wow, look at how nice everything is. Oh wait, it's a teenager's room. You can tell because of the pot. They were preparing a ritual for a successful journey. So they left without you? It looks like they didn't finish the ceremony. It's missing some offerings. Without them, the journey won't be successful. So... Do you want me to finish the ceremony? Hmm. You know what? Yes, I do. What do we need? Two things. An animal offering and a sacred item. What should we start with? Let's start with... A sacred item. But what makes an item sacred? It's an item that's been blessed by the pastor. Your father. Exactly. I know just where to find one. Go to the living quarters. You'll find it there. What am I looking for? My hairpin. Your hairpin is a sacred item? It was carved from a holy tree. Uh... Okay. Go straight ahead. We can grab that sacred item since we are already here. Well, I'm gonna just look around at everything because there's a lot to unpack here, lady. What does the herpin look like? My father carved it in the shape of a bison. At least that's what he said it was. This is where I last saw it. Booster emote? 
Pushing up the glasses? Actually. I can't find it. I guess we'll have to find something else instead. How about the ring on the draw? Yes, that could work. You just have to bless it, but that's not going to be difficult. Now let's look for an animal offering. There's a workshop behind the stage. We'll find it there. Oh, well, that was easy. I, I thought... wonder what happened to that hairpin. Maybe they took it. No, they knew how important it was to me. I'm sure it will turn up somewhere. E.K. E.K.? Those are my initials. Did you do that? No, Antek carved it for me. He got such a talking to after. What does the K stand for? Mm, I don't remember. Somebody we know with the last name of K that we've seen before. Hmm. So we are not going to finish the ritual after all? I mean, if that's what you want. I'm just looking around, lady. Ah, uh, Great Velas. Grant me the gift of motherhood. Let me save her in the uh, save her the sight of my own child as he learns to walk and talk as he grows and supports me and my husband in our old age. I tried treating myself with primrose oil, flaxseed oil, and chest wood extract. An herbalist friend gave me a mixture of ladies' mantle, yarrow, rue leaves, yellow milo, lavender, calamus, a calamus root, marigold flower, hops, and rose hip. Nothing helped. Years go by and I fear my womb soon be barren. I vow if I am granted offspring, I will raise them to re, uh, re revere and worship, rever, sorry, rever and worship you and uh, to the end of their days. You are my last hope. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who she might be the daughter of. But I don't know who. Okay, that's like the retreat at wash closet. Build a statue like it's no small thing. Don't get me wrong. I built all sorts of crap in my time, but when I framed and roofed a summer villa for the chief of police and... Oh, boy. I'm not even going to try. He nearly wet himself with admiration when he saw it. I stayed out of the camp because of that, unlike my predecessor who botched the job. Uh, those forms I made outside Lagota for the underground bunkers that housed Major Speedy's partisans... They took a bombing and still didn't bust. But a statue? What am I? Some kind of log chopping wood carver? No. I'm a carpenter, damn it. Lucian might know his stuff about the gods, but he doesn't know anything about wood. Although I suppose when the gods are involved, it's best not to make a fuss. Oh well. I guess I'll hack out that statue for him. Oh, baby. Are you sure this will work? Don't worry, it's just about symbolism. It looks like we have everything. We can go back to the altar now. Why were there so many toys there? All the children grew up, and because of the radiation, no new ones were born. The youngest was Antek. When he turned 12, he became an adult. They shaved his head and put all the toys in one place for future children. Who's Antek? My best friend.
Oh, Antic is the guy who carved her initials into the thing, okay. Put the offerings in the bowls. Now bless the items, and the ritual will be complete. Alright, Pinto Bless. Pinto Bless chat. I'm gonna need a Pinto Bless from everybody. How do I do that? Just say a few words. Something profound. The gods like that. How about... Hmm, no matter how dark the night, a new day sun will rise. Yeah, that works. I think we did it. Their journey should be successful now. Hmm. Wherever they went. Thank you for doing this for me. Since you grew up here, and the people from that recording move here, did you recognize any of them? Like Lucian? That scientist? I don't remember anyone like that. At least I don't think I do. Okay, I think it's time to leave. that we finished the ritual. Their journey should be safe now. And maybe ours will be too. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Alex with the 20 Hey Rapper. <laughs> hey Raptor. I can't even say my own name. Uh, have you or do you play the squad? Uh, there were a few videos on the channel of that, I believe so. I'd like to play it again sometime soon. Whoa. Where's all this wind coming from? There must be a giant tree down here. There's, like, wood growing everywhere. I thought it was the tree inside the prison, but apparently this is something else. Oh, there's where the bridge was broken before. And what's here? Something isn't right about this place. What do you mean? I just don't remember being here. Uh, Alex with the with the fifty, uh, may I get you to play test the SMF mod when the test build is ready? Oh, that'd be cool. Thank you very much, Alex. Yeah, send a message. Uh, probably best via like email or Discord if you'd like. Thanks again for the support. That sounds cool. The tree. It's the same as the one in your mom's drawings. That's Lucy, the man you're looking for. And there's the Monica. They look like they were friends. She changed. She definitely got older. Oh, that is one cute baby. So us. You're oh. in this space. That's gotta be us. The, born, uh, the baby was born in 68. Wow, look at how cool this damn door... Look at that. That's, that's, that's cool.
Uh, sounds good, Alex. Thanks for reaching out to uh, test something out. Appreciate that. It Looking must forward be to your it. Father's. Oh, I mean, Lucian's study. Wow, this this room looks awesome. Who's he trying to save? I leave this with you. When the time comes, it is the gods who will judge my actions. I will stand before them. I will look them in the eyes, and I will not blink, because I know that one cannot give a higher purpose than devoting their whole life to saving their loved ones. Uh-oh. What does that word mean? Bracha Sosti? Lack any rational explanation. Recoveries from illness that seemed impossible. The appearance of farm animals that were thought to be extinct. I have long believed that someone has been watching over us. Still, I was afraid to share my thoughts. Uh, that is, until now. Lucian! Fate has brought us here, to the land of Veles, the Slavic god of water and the underworld. Lucian, Obiad. Give me a moment, please. You know, I get nervous before these things. I'm sorry, just hurry up, it's getting cold. What, the dinner? Hot pocket? Did you make a hot pocket for dinner? Those are never cold. Brothers and sisters, we do not know when we shall leave this bunker. We must fend for ourselves, and it warms my heart to see the spirit of camaraderie among us each and every day. Yet events have transpired that are hard to explain rationally. Oh boy. Lorik found a new tunic when his old one could no longer be patched up. Zubnachawa found a new hoe after he broke up with the other one. I mean, uh, after the old one broke. And Jerdrick Pictow return to health though we never knew what afflicted him or how to cure it the list goes on and I have the feeling that someone is watching over us it recently get, has given us a sign fate's tangled path has brought us to the kingdom of Velis the Slavic god of waters of the underground uh, of, of the underworld yet also a song and poetry I feel it is who is behind all of these marvels he's giving us signs so that we will believe. Let us erect an altar <laughs> statue to worship him so that we may win his favor and his aid. Wow. Guy writes a good speech. Fun fact, only 2% of everybody watching got that. Uh, what's up here? Oh, I want to go up on the book ladder. I always want to go on the book ladder. Oh, man. We hung out with Dad in his room. Someone uh, clipped that, too, by the way. That was, pretty, that was pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Well, that drop seemed a lot further than it was. I think you're telling the truth. So, you grew up here, underground. Do you remember the world outside? Sure I do. 
Before the bombs hit, I had a normal life on the surface. Before the bombs hit? Wasn't that like 20 years ago? That doesn't make any sense. What is all this stuff? It's like all the same. Are these like graves of people? Like there's pictures of people, but... Like, do they cremate them and then put them below the box, or how does that work? Because it looks like there's a little tiny box for, like, ashes. And then you can put stuff on top of it. Is that how that works? Man, a lot of people died. Who buried them all, though? That one has something in it. No. That was your friend, wasn't it? Was he really so young when it happened? And what happened? <sighs> Eva? Oh, he's got a helmet on too. Walking on the water? <laughs> Things are getting real weird now. Going into the hot pocket, boys. Eva, your name's on the grave. What's going on here? I don't. I don't remember. I don't want to remember. Remember? That's his name. You're his daughter. Stop. I don't want to hear it. You should never have come here. But you wanted me to help you. You can't help me. No one can. This place was built on lies and death. There's only pain here. I'm not going to suffer anymore. I'm shutting it down. It's over. You hear me? It's over. Eva? Eva? If he's your father, then I will say this is whether you want me to or not. Oh. Yeah, it's the OCD alert for me playing <laughs> building games from you guys. Uh, this YouTuber has done 6,000 uploads, but I've noticed one mistake in one of the videos. I'll need to write a four-paragraph review of said mistake in order to feel better about myself. People do do that, by the way. 
I'll start posting some of them on the Discord for you guys. This is the sound your microwave makes at like 2.30 in the morning when you just make a little bit of popcorn and you're trying to be quiet. The popcorn is done. The popcorn is done. Hey. those lights They're like a spaceship above us or what Gotta be something around here. Oh. She can be used as a key for the computer? I didn't know that. There's the bridge battle. Oh, it's actually on the dam. Welcome to our humble home. My heart rejoices to see us all together as sisters and brothers. You were all summoned here to proclaim your allegiance to the gods. That was the agreement, and you have stood by your word. We who have been blessed by 
by the gods will prove the power of our faith to the doubtful. So, this is it for me, huh? Do what you want. I refuse to be part of your twisted little fantasy any longer. Faithful are no more. They brought the wrath of the gods upon themselves. Do you understand? They are to blame. But we are still together. Everyone who matters is alright. What happened to her? Wow. So much story in like 10 seconds on that computer. Holy crap. Oh, is she not going to come with us? Okay, I guess we're leaving the pin there. I want to go over to those other rooms. What opened? I feel like there should be a document around here or something. Other than that one. Oh, the elevator door opened. That was loud.
sounded like a huge metal door, not like an elevator door. Not much quieter that time. Oh boy. Looks like we can open, open up the doors. Energy level zero requires 48%. Uh, Fight Master, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Appreciate you smashing that join button and supporting the channel. Welcome aboard. Oh, this is the symbol. We're walking on it right now. Oh. Can we only choose one of... Opening that door took a little bit of the power. We're going to have to choose which way we want to go. Unless there's a way through to another backup generator somewhere else. AI lab. Energy level 40% requires 40% of energy. Oh, wow. There's stuff below us, too. We better look around before we make a decision. Alchemy lab. Requires 40% of energy. Open door. Maybe. I don't know if we can close it once we open it. I don't know. Eugenics lab. Requires 40% of power. Let's go down and see what's below us. Is there a brand new car behind one of those doors? I don't know. go through here yet. like we can turn it off. Stay. 
to join her. But where? Probably as a member on the member section of the Discord. Science log. Uh, Lucien Kalenda. The Nazi neurobiological research team sought to transfer information between the hippocampal neurons responsible for memory and spatial perception. Previously, three methods for achieving this were known. The Nazi team, however, discovered the fourth via the jumping of electrical impulse pulses. They experimented on hum human hippocampal cross sections and found that low level vibrations can generate magnetic poles which in turn activate neighboring cells. Neurons thus may communicate without electrochemical uh, synaptic transmission even when they are surgically separated. Therefore, neuron signals within the brain can be transmitted without actual contact. This was the foundation of how they handled the communication between the two biocomponents. The two most du uh, durable hosts were connected between March 1945 and August 1947. They lasted longer and were more efficient than any other pair of bio components Nazis never made any connection as to why they function better than any of the previous hosts the hosts uh, were named Alex Sikorsky and Michael Sikorsky siblings oh so basically they they were raided memory because they were brothers their brains work together rather than two separate brains working together. It was like when you uh, when you use, you know, RAID RAM. It's more for the power rather than for the memory storage. Greetings from Poland. That's where we are now, apparently. We can only open one of the doors. There's so much lore, though. There's so much story behind these doors. How do we get in? Uh, let's try. <laughs> Is there a way we can deactivate the other door? Science log, Lu Lucien Kalenda. Dr. Rudolf Schroeder noted his findings that the biocomponents hippocampus suffered the most stress during excessive use of the system. What he failed to notice was that when th three numerous ways to counter the stress through non-invasive methods, precautions such as limiting the number of operations the biocomponent can work on simultaneously or applying a shift work system for most day-to-day uh, -day operations can greatly decrease the stress the biocomponent is subject to. We have already exceeded the longevity of most durable biocomponents by a factor of 10. This is even more impressive considering we are only operating with a single host. Unfortunately, there is no design denying that there is a substantial deterioration in the biocomponent's memory. 
Delusions are becoming more increasingly frequent. For this reason, and this reason alone, I've decided to conduct a physical procedure injecting the biocomponent with a modified version of the drug cocktail the Nazis formulated uh, using to create an uber soldier is, I must say, rather worrying, since no such experiments have previously been carried out. The situation is dire. Where you spend all of your time. I mean, you come? I came to talk. Not right now. I know we haven't seen eye to eye for a very long time, but I wanted to put our differences aside and come here to extend my condolences. Thank you. But I have to get back to work. That's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. People at the processing plant are worried. No one's seen you since the funeral. I've been busy. As I said, I need to get back to work. I understand that's how you operate, but this obsession... It's not healthy. Wait. The plant isn't overloading the system, is it? No. Everything's working fine. People are calling it a miracle. Good. 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 I can't imagine what it's like to lose a child. Dominica, I don't have time for it. Time for what? Grieving the death of your daughter? You don't understand. I can still do something. She's gone, Lucia. You can't bring her back. There's not going to be a second miracle. Just you wait and see. So... He faked her death? No. Oh. Science Log, Lucian Kalenda. It is undeniable that the drugs used by the Nazis have beneficial results on the host when, and I cannot stress this enough, how important this is used correctly. Any alteration to the formula, however slight, could be fatal. I found the side effects to be particularly useful, especially considering the current situation among the colonists. There may come a point at which we need to defend ourselves. Its, ga it's gas form, however, is not easy to contain. That's why I deemed it necessary to create a vaccine in which I will administer to the believers. There is no reason to risk the well-being of those who decided to trust me. I just need to make sure they take it. But that should not be difficult. They will do anything if they think it will strengthen their faith in God. In the gods. Medically enhanced ritual wine should do, the, should do just fine. Now there's one more door for lore, but we can't open it, I think. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, there's more lore in there, but I don't know if we can get in there. Nope, looks like we can only choose two.
probably have to reload his save just to see what was in the other room. Why would the devs make it so you can't get in the door? Eh, there might be a different way in there. Or for another playthrough, maybe. Oh yeah, seven stages of grief. The first one is, uh, what's it called? Um, denial, acceptance was in there, depression. Now we're on uh, acceptance. Warlord, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Yeah, we'll have to see what's in that last room then for the eugenics one. Might be a way to go back there, but more than likely, probably some hidden lore for a second playthrough. Or you just reload the save, I suppose. Alright, what do we have here? It's time. It was fate that brought us to this place, and it's fate that now leads us away. We leave tomorrow in search of another place that we call can call home. We must took this place for paradise. We now know that it's never meant to be our paradise, but it could be yours. I know you will come here, if not in a year, perhaps in five, if not five, then in ten. But you will come here. You cannot avoid it. It may seem cruel, but the gods have a plan for us all. You can try to run from your destiny, but it'll catch up with you in the end. Uh, you can come here. You will come here, and you will have a chance to make everything right. You know what needs to be done, Simon. Lucian. Warlord, thanks for upgrading to a raptor hatchling. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Wow, we are deep into these caves. No mention of the tree so far? No, Not a single written word on what that tree is. Although they keep referencing it all the time. Apparently we're playing Valheim now. Mom, 
I don't understand. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> Mom, it's not your fault. You did what you had to. I thought that was going to be a lot longer. This isn't how you imagined you'd find me. Everything came back to me when you found that grave. Like a flood. To think I was keeping the truth from myself for all that time. It's amazing what the human mind is capable of. Eva, you're alive. I am. That's... That's good. Mm, at this point... I don't really know, Shimon. What I do know is that I was really upset when I told you to leave. Now I'm glad you didn't listen. There are so many things I want to... I'm tired, Shimon. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I think I'd like to go. What do you mean? I want you to unplug me. Eva... Why? Shimon, I don't even understand what I am anymore. You're my sister. I always wanted to have a sibling. I'm glad I can call you brother. Thank you for saying that. You know, I tried to forgive him for... For leaving me here, but I can't. Do you think that makes me a bad person? Tell me, what kind of father condemns his own daughter to oblivion? I'm not sure what to say. Luton wanted to sacrifice my life to save you. That's how much he loved you. I'm glad he didn't. I'd rather have a brother in the end. Lucian lied about your death to save you. And you think it was justified? I think he loved you as a father more than anything else. Shimon, that's really a lot to take in. I don't know what to do with it. How do you imagine my life here will look, huh? You think I'll be able to go outside, see the sunshine? What happens if there's a power outage and I'm all alone? Or if someone comes and tries to take this place and use it? You think I'll be strong enough to defend myself? You're stronger than you think. Eva, tell me, what will happen to you if I agree? Well, that depends on what you believe happens when someone dies. What do you think?
you will meet all the people who died before you. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I think you're ready. Ready for what? To make the decision. I want you to know that I'll accept your decision no matter what it is. do it. Eva? I'm here. Thank you, Shimon. It's a relief to know my fate is settled. But that leaves us with you. What are you going to do? to leave this place. What do you think? I think you're making the right choice. There's nothing good to be found here anymore. This place can finally be forgotten. So, what's your final decision, Shimon? I will go. Take care out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. Goodbye, brother.
Wow. Crazy. So there's some external trailers that tell you that the Second World War is still going on. The Germans just put it on pause by, like, setting up uh, nukes around Germany to try to block the Allies from advancing. And most of Europe's in, like, a nuclear apo apocalypse. So there's a chance that Simon could find the Soviets or the Americans who were still closing in. Still waiting. And now our sister's at peace rather than just being a slave to the bunker. Opening doors and such. What happened to the other human? That was supposed to be us and the other thing. To give uh, double brain power to this giant tree in the middle. Redo and uh, enter the third room to save her? Well, we could do that. You guys stick around if there's an option for it. We can try to jump back, see what's in the eugenics lab, and then try to do the opposite one where we don't unplug and stay. If we don't unplug our sister and stay there, it'll be like Lucian, where we just basically hang out in the bunker and just live a somewhat existence of just literally living at a farm with no one around. I don't think there's a way to join her, though. I don't think you can hook yourself up to the machine. That takes somebody else to help. All right, let's stick around and see if we can do our second ending. Overall, really good story, though. Really found that one to be quite interesting. With minimal, like, uh... Eh, it's all science and not magic. So a lot of it's kind of believable. And really interesting to see the story between the two groups of the Polish, both factions. Very cool. You hate games like this? Fairy tale man, born and raised, happy endings forever? Well, in a way, this is him, Simon, accepting his past of his mother and father being a part of this resistance force his sister in a way he set her free this is how life is though there's a lot of gray area nothing's black or white good or bad a lot of things are just they are what they are oh what there's no way to go back oh that's cruel oh that's 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 the saddest of endings we can't go back and oh what the oh man well, what's in the eugenics lab? What are the other endings? We'd have to play through it again. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Eh, they should do an update and do like a... saving or something beforehand. I guess the only real decision that matters is the one at the end. But I guess we... we made the story too, like... Uh, that one woman, she wasn't uh, killed, she was imprisoned. So I guess you you just choose your own story all the way through. You can kind of change the memory tubes and make it a different ending if you want. Like, for example, all the, the poles at the bridge, you could either have them shot or not, but the guy's going to kill them with the bomb anyway. Let's do it again. We have nowhere else to be. Uh, $10,000 super chat, and I'll do it again. Otherwise, I want some nuggies. That's kind of like the same value. <laughs> well, I thought that was great. That was very cool. The uh, bunker was absolutely stylish. Everything looked awesome. The voice acting was a little... Little, 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 you know, sound mixing was a little, but, you know, not bad for actors who were not native English speakers. Is there a way to select chapters? Uh, I don't think so. There's new game and that's it. So once you beat it, it wipes your progress and that's it. These types of games, more games need to have multiple, like, save selects and then also the way to go back. Because in these types of games, you guys ever do that where you beat a game? And, like, most games, open world games especially, at the end of the game, it'll have this thing where it's like... Hey, you're about to beat the game, just so you know. So you can go back and do all the stuff you want to now. Or they do this thing where you beat the game, and it'll do a flashback to before you beat the game. Or it'll, it'll give you some sort of story to complete all the other side quests. 
Like some games don't tell you it's the final mission, and then you beat it, and it'll be like, you've completed the game. Enjoy your time exploring the world of Blurp and go collect all the side stuff. Have fun. Just stream the three endings and we'll watch with you. Oh, we'd have to do all that all over again. Oh. I wonder what the other endings could be then. One is to set your system... Well, I guess mathematically you could determine it to be... Uh, don't set sister free and stay. Set sister free and stay. Well, wait. Don't set sister... Oh, wow. The cruelest of endings would be to be like, Nah, I'm out. And then you just leave the bunker and leave her there. That'd be the cruelest ending. I just thought about that. Wow. That would be rough. All right, well, since we can't go back to jump and do anything else, and it would take us over, like, three or four hours to get back to that again, I think we'll wrap up here for Paradise Lost. I'm going to launch a video on a new City Builder game you guys might be interested in. Uh, a lot of Germans in this one, and a German uh, crew made this next game we're going to play, so I'm going to drop that on the channel. Uh, I was going to play... I didn't know how long this game would be, so we'll find something else to play this afternoon. But for now, join me on my channel for that. Thanks, everybody, for smashing like. Thanks for all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new members. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much uh, for all your feedback and your theories and stuff in the chat and also in the comments section afterwards. You guys are awesome. So thank you very much for uh, being here. I'll see you all very soon. Uh, enjoy the next video coming up on the channel. Should be live shortly, and I will see you guys there for that one. I'm going to go ahead and, in fact, I'm going to make it live right now, and I'll let you guys check this video out. I'll drop a link for it so you all can watch uh, Dwarf Romantic. Should be a great game. And I look forward to you guys uh, checking that one out, too. All right, there's, there's your link to the new video. Go ahead and check that one out. And uh, comment the word paradise on that video that I linked a ton of time. I'm chatting. I'm spamming chat. I'm spamming chat. Uh, check that link out. Go to that video. Spam the word paradise. And I will see you guys soon. Paradise Lost available now on Steam. A fantastic game. I really like this one. This was really cool. Good story. In fact, worth a second playthrough, I'd argue. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, and enjoy the new video. Goodbye, everybody.